Hi guys, I'm so excited. My September gift kits are here. Yes, yes, yes. I am going to open everything up and show you what I have to play with this month. Okay, I'm so excited because, um, well, you'll see. The kits are really pretty. So let's start with the papers. This is from Simple Stories. The collection is called Posh and the paper is called Love Lots. And this side, it's um, like a specialty paper, so it has some gold foiling. And this side has these hearts, which are... In case you haven't watched any of my unboxings, I give... I don't just show you what we have in the kits. I'm also showing you um, what I'm thinking when I'm seeing the product and what ideas pop into my head. So you can get a lot of um, ideas on how to use um, the kits from my unboxing videos, I hope. <laughs> That's my intention anyway. So this paper to me, this side screams, um, cut me out and, um, sorry, I have some paint <laughs> um, from the color kit on my nails. Just try not to get it on it, the papers. So this paper really, um, tells me, <laughs> my products speak to me, to uh, cut these hearts out and that would be like a really great embellishment. And what I'm also noticing, if you know my style, I don't use a lot of dark colors and this collection has this dark uh, blue. I think the kit has all through it uh, the dark blue, um, which I kind of can handle as uh, accent color, but I don't use a lot of dark colors on my layouts. So what you could do, for example, in this paper, if you notice, there are some hearts like this one and this one that doesn't have this uh, blue. So you could use those and I'll probably do that. And what I also like about such papers, um, the ones with that are colorful, is that they can give you great ideas on um, color schemes for your layout. So I schemes that you wouldn't necessarily think of. So for example, this one here, um, you see it has like this mint, this light pale uh, pink and a touch of this mustardy yellow and this kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like a tomato, not a tomato, like a somewhere between a red and a pink. And so that would be a great idea for a color combo and the other ones as well. Um, this side is this type of pattern. I love the color. Um, it's kind of coral or again, this it really reminds me of an ink from Hero Arts. One of their best colors, I think it's called Pale Tomato. And OK, it's not an exact match, but it's a pretty good one. And I just love this color, somewhere between, I don't know, an orange, a pink, and a red, not clear, but beautiful color. I'm talking way too much um, for this video. Okay, this gorgeous, gorgeous paper is from the Maggie Holmes Gather Collection. The paper is called Jane. Gorgeous floral. Um, you could fussy cut these out and use them as beautiful embellishments. I'll probably do that. And the other side, is uh, this really cute dot and this is just the perfect accent. This would also be actually a fun background but I think it's the type of papers that work really well as um, as a little layer. You see just like a photo mat or something like that. Beautiful beautiful papers. Um, get the pattern paper add-on and then you don't have to um you know choose which side to use from the gather collection this one is called kate this side is this lovely small floral that is just beautiful and this side is like this wonderful kind of ombre i don't know pattern it's a really really lovely paper as I was opening the kit, I was telling myself maybe I should um, challenge myself this month uh, not to use white cardstock, or at least not a lot of it. And then I thought there's no way I'll be able to um, actually do that. But this would be a paper that I would definitely consider using as a background or a large piece of it because it's interesting, um, but still not too busy. 
And the floral is gorgeous. From Maggie Holmes Gather, this paper is called Moments. And this has these frames which are really telling me to cut them and use them as, um, you know, just, you could do, you could do a script, a script, a strip of these. You could do like um, a column and whatever you choose, you can start there your design and kind of build your design on it, uh, whether it's a strip or a row kind of. And you could cut these up. You could fast, uh, like take a craft knife and cut the inside of the frame and then put something else behind it. Um, I love this paper. It's just so many things, so many ideas, ways you could use this. And the other side is this really, really interesting blue. Um, it's kind of like a, a, a really... I'm not sure actually what royal blue is. That's the one that pops in my head, but I don't really know <laughs> what kind of blue royal blue is. Um, no idea, but this seems very royal to, <laughs> to me. <laughs> Talking nonsense, I really need a cup of coffee. Um, so I probably use this side. I think this, side, this color is really fantastic and maybe I can come up with a way to use it um, that uh, works for me but as i said i don't tend to use a lot to use a lot of dark colors so um you know this one has a lot of white uh this would be great as a journaling um spot you know you could write your journaling in these um you could do a grid cut a few of them and then arrange them in kind of a loose grid on your layout lots of things you could do from maggie holmes gather this paper is called you plus me and this side is this, um, what is this, a checkers in white and uh, blue. And I love this side. I will use this side because this is just not the type of patterns that I use. And um, this side is beautiful. And this is one of these super easy to use papers uh, for me. Because you can use it as background, you can layer it, you can punch it, you can die cut it. It works for everything. From the Gather collection, this is Melody. And you can see there are notes in um, a nice shade of blue on a white background that has kind of, I guess you can see this faint, I don't know, what is this, like a math notebook or something? And then this side is fantastic. Um, it's a really bright pink, uh, pink. No, that's not pink. That is very, very yellow. And I really like it. Yellow is one of my favorite uh, colors for accents. So I would probably use this as a layer or, um, I don't know, maybe punch it. This would also work as a background. I love these plus signs that, I don't know, it almost looks like stars or something. Um, this would be a great background if you like uh, bolder background because it's not too busy. It's just a very bright color. And let's put it like this. This is a more like a softer um, palette. This from Dear Lizzie Saturday. This is called City Lights and this has this kind of pattern and the other side is a really nice um, tone on tone kind of painted watercolored uh, ampersand. And I'll probably use this as a layering piece just because I like the pink. And But this would also work um, as that pop of black and white. It's actually both sides I think are really one of these very um, usable, sorry, usable uh, papers, easy to use. From Simple Stories, Posh, this is called Dream Big. And this side is this multicolored uh, stripe. I don't do multicolored, <laughs> but when I saw this paper um, in the kit, I actually thought that um, this is probably how I will use it. I will cut out the pieces that work with my color scheme. So for example, like you see, maybe I can do a demo. <laughs> see here you have like these green, I don't know, it's kind of emerald turquoise lines. And then you have this lovely, 
again this kind of red pink then you have pink and then you have a, a kind of a more violet pink so what I would do is depending on my color scheme I would use like this area of the paper you know just this ignored the cardstock or if I wanted to have also the blue in my color scheme then I would use this or if I was going for a teal color scheme then I could use this so that would be like my plan or just these that's how I would use this paper. If I choose to use this side, I won't use it as a whole. And this side has, um, it's the North Pole. Um, I haven't been there and I don't think I'll go anytime soon. <laughs> so I think I will probably use, I mean, I love the color. You could probably punch the areas um, or, you know, die cut circles or something like that, just for some texture. You don't really, I don't think you could really tell what it is if you cut a little piece. Um, you could also use this for a layout about travel or adventure or something like that. Um, I'm not sure, probably if I feel like I need on a layout, if I need this color, then I would use this paper. But I really like the uh, stripes here, just not all of them together. This is one of my favorite, this is very long, <laughs> this is one of my favorite papers this month from Maggie Holmes Gather, this is called Kindred, and I love this um, print. Um, maybe I'll cut out the little birds, because that's just cute, but you could also do, for example, like take a circle punch or a circle die or just free, um, you know, free cut, free cut hand cut <laughs> my words are all mixing you know just um, cut this uh, for example if you don't feel the birds <laughs> don't insult the birdies you're very cute um, I have a baby so I have baby brain I'm talking to birds on paper so you could cut these areas and leave the birds out you know, if you feel like you're not sure how to use these birds. And then the other side is a very cool print. Um, I doubt I will use it because I don't like uh, brown on my layouts. I really love it in clothes. Not that you're interested in that, but in case you're wondering. <laughs> but um, I think it's really cool uh, the way it looks, just not uh, for me. And I love, love this side. So I'm happy to have two papers. So these are the A sides and then these are the B sides. Lots of possibilities. And so pretty. So main kit. We're still in the main kit. For I usually like to go from um, exciting to super exciting. <laughs> so these are the alphas in the main kit and these are indigo puffy alpha stickers in this really square font and these are from Pink Fresh Studio from the Indigo Hills collection um, which is a really interesting and I think pretty collection with kind of a different look than what we're used to seeing. Um, it doesn't have numbers which makes me happy because I don't use a lot of numbers um, but <laughs> more on that in a sec so it's a really great alpha I think um, this indigo or navy um, is a really great um, color for alpha it's neutral and but it's still kind of bold and um, yeah it works with everything in the kit and I was talking about numbers so here I go lots of big numbers in the main kit we get these thickers um, they are called blessed Blessed, not blessed, blessed, and they are chipboard phrase stickers. There are 65 pieces. These are from the new Maggie Holmes collection, and they are fantastic for easy titles and embellishments because there's also lots of little um, chipboard pieces. I love chipboard, it's my favorite uh, type of embellishment, and I love um, words that I can use for titles and these are very generic sweet capture today cute happy loved so very easy to use um, from the pink fresh studio indigo hills collection we have these gold foil wood clips and they are lovely um, they are really 
I'll let you see from close. Um, I love the colors. I love the soft mint and the pink and I don't even mind the blue here. <laughs> and they're quite, they're not, they're very thin. So I don't know if you can see it with the packaging. Just in case you're worried that they are too bulky for your layouts, I really don't think they are. They are actually thinner than, um, wait, let me try and get the camera to focus. It doesn't wanna. They're thinner than chipboard. It really doesn't wanna. Why don't you wanna? Okay. So they're really, really thin. See, that's nothing. So they're perfect for layouts. Really, really beautiful, very unique. I like it that it's something a bit different. For all our die cut embellishment and ephemera needs, we have the Maggie Holmes Gather ephemera pack with 40 pieces. And I'm not gonna open it, but I'm gonna show you because I can, because <laughs> my camera can focus. So that's what you get. Lots and lots of uh, goodies. You can layer these. Um, a lot of fun. Love the leaves and the florals. Gorgeous. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this bear. What am I going to do with this bear? It's a big bear. And last but not least in the um, main kit, we get these brads from Simple Stories. And these brads are flat, so you don't have to poke a hole in your layout. Um, they're just... And I really hope I recorded everything till now. Okay. And um, yeah, they're really cute. And of course they coordinate. Look at that little cute doggy. They coordinate with the kit. So super fun. This is the main kit. And now I will show you. So if you want more paper options, you can get the cardstock kit and I'll show you what uh, comes in it this month. So we have these two um, navy ones. I don't use this type of cardstock. What I usually do is if I want to use a cut file as a stencil, then I use a cardstock in colors that I don't um, use. Or if I'm doing a layout where I'm not using a 12 by 12 as my background, but I cover it with, um, you know, strips of pattern paper or something like that, um, I can use this as a base because it's not going to show if I cover the whole thing. But this would also also work as a frame because it really um, kind of gives a finished look. So I'm just saying if you're also not a user of colored cardstock. This color is beautiful. You can find all the details on the website. I'm just not sure what's it called, but it's a beautiful color. They're all textured as far as I can tell. This light pink is beautiful and I definitely want to challenge myself to use this as a background. We'll see, I kind of feel like, I don't know, it's fun to challenge yourself, you know, and do something a little bit different and then it kind of gives you different uh, results and things that you may, you didn't know you liked. So I'm really considering not using a lot of white cardstock this month, but we'll see. I'm gonna eat my words, I know it. This color is also pretty. It's kind of more on a, the minty tone. Um, so this one I would say is more blue and bright. And this one is kind of a little bit muted. It works perfectly with the kit. Um, it's a really beautiful shade. I don't know, I'll have to think about it to find some creative ways to use cardstock. And <laughs> thank you, Kimberly. You get also white cardstock. So not to worry. I mean, I have a stock, but um, if you get the cardstock add-on, then you also get white cardstock. So that's the cardstock add-on. And then if you get the pattern paper add-on, you get all of the papers in the main kit. And if I only had to get one um, add-on, it would either be this one or the embellishment kit. But I think the pattern papers is one of those affordable ones that give you a lot um, of stuff to work with. The embellishment kit is super lovely this month and I'll save the best for last. So we have this uh, washi tape from the Carpe Diem collection. Um, no, I think it's the line and this is the 
posh collection so this is by simple stories okay so this is by simple stories and they're really fun i really especially like these um which ones do you think i like <laughs> of course i like the these two um just because the colors are super pretty what else we get these lovely yummy um Maggie Holmes gather stickers. There are 113 and they're in gold. Ooh, you can see me. I look very pretty. <laughs> so they're in gold and in uh, rose gold. Uh, really beautiful. Lovely. It's all good. We have these alphas, which I love. Um, they're called Together and these are foam letter stickers. And there are 207. I love these. You see, you get two sizes and they're foam and they're black and I love this um, font. Um, I'm super happy about these. I'll probably use these more than the ones in the main kit um, just because these kind of give me more the vibe that I am looking for. <laughs> love these. I'm not sure if they're also from the Maggie Holmes. I'm not sure. Okay, the rest is really, really, really good. Um, this was good, but now comes the really good. Hi, oh, hello, pretty. So these are from Maggie Holmes Gather, and these are embellishments, and they're kind of, you can see they're dimensional, and they have um, like this glitter paper kind of gold, and these wooden buttons with the epoxy stickers in the middle, and this gorgeous flower. I'm so going to hoard this one. I need to find a place. <laughs> fitting place for its gorgeousness and um, we have this little Bambi with a bow this gorgeous bows this is for me the type of embellishment that really um, you know really gives that beautiful detail to a layout so you could make some of these without a problem like these banners you could totally make this one also if you had um, some of this like crepe paper um, the bows you could probably make yourself. So if you don't have this, you know, you could use it as ideas for some more embellishments. We also get these super cute tassels. And these are fun because um, I'll show you up close. The colors are just perfect. But the nice thing also about them is that they are really, really flat. So you could totally use them on a layout and that makes me happy because that's where I want to use them on my layouts. And I saved the best for last. Ta -ta -ta -ti. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Hello. So this is the chipboard from Cute Girl uh, by Crate Paper. And we got a bunch of um, stuff from this collection in the August kits. If you have been naughty and you haven't used your August kits, then this would work perfectly with lots of stuff in it. I, however, was a good girl, a good kit club member, and I used up my kits. You can check that out on my channel. Um, but these work perfectly with um, this month's kits. So I'm really, really excited to use them. I love the houses and these balloons and Ah, uh, it's just so many cute things. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So, this is the embellishment kit. Next, we have the color kit, and the color kit comes this month with this stencil from Echo Park. So it has, I don't know, I guess it's kind of like a leafy little leaves, and so great for texture. And, um, um, what I wanted to say, yes, what else comes? So we get this Shimmer Paints in Anchor, Anchor, Anchors Away. And I actually have, I have this, um, journal where I keep swatches of most of my, um, mixed media stuff. And this is the color from the Anchors Away. Sorry about not a very elegant, uh, swatch, but it's a lovely, um, blue that really works with the blue in in the collection so for example it's really close to this shade i would say kind of and i've also used this actually 
when you mix this color with just a little bit of it with white, you get a really, really, really beautiful uh, light blue. So I'll probably do that also. And the other thing that we got in the kit that I actually don't own, I'm on the Shimmers design team, so I have a lot of um, their products. And this one is um, one of their creamies. So it's called Grapefruit. Let me try to show you. Grapefruit. And the creamies come uh, hard and you have to add water. So I just actually sprayed a little bit of water uh, with my mister before I started this. Um, just so I can swatch it, but I think it already got absorbed. So I think this color is really, really beautiful. Um, where do I have my creamies? There. So it depends really, the more you um, work at it, um, the stronger the color will be. And these have kind of like a satin finish. So this is a really, really beautiful kind of, it's this color that I can't describe this, <laughs> this um, orangey, pinkish red and it just works really well with the papers. Sorry, I'm kind of slow because I want to show you and I want to talk and I'm just... So you can see this is like a really really great match for this paper. Sorry, this is like super tiny. Um, so really interesting colors. I'm I'm really looking forward to working with them. You know, the last two kits I think had a lot of my kind of go-to colors of pinks and, um, well, pinks. <laughs> and um, like mints and aqua. So this one is, is a slightly different um, color scheme, but I'll probably pull out my favorite colors from it. Okay, last but not least, we have the Project Life kit and I'll start with the cards. Tons of fun stuff in this kit. I'll just go through them fast and wait, maybe I'll do a little zoomy thing because I can. <laughs> so these are the four by six. We have September, 2016. What a week. And these are exclusive for the kit and they are one-sided. And this works really perfectly with the papers. And the three by four, we have hello, hello. Important details. I love this filler card, super cute. Today went like this. Ah, this is lovely. You could fussy cut these and um, use them as embellishments on your layouts. Cute filler card, another super cute filler card. Makes me happy. You could cut this out and use it as an embellishment. You are my greatest adventure. Um, oh, this is cute. Look, you can kind of write here um, what you're reading, what you're watching, what you're listening to. So that's really a nice prompt card. I will never forget. You've got this. Um, this is kind of a nice wood grain filler card. These, oh, this is cute. You have here a place for journaling. Also, you could punch this like a big circle and um, use that as a journaling spot on your layout. When it took place, what we were doing, who was there, reason we did it. It's cute. Lovely flower. Currently week. September 16, you can see that. Nice filler card. So you can see the colors really coordinate with the kit. Oh, I love this. My fave, I love these colors. And the sweetest things. So these are the cards. Um, we get this gorgeous alpha. This is um, a gold puffy alpha from Maggie Holmes. Let me zoom back out. Okay, and um, there are 237, so there's a ton here. These are gorgeous, and they're perfect for Project Life because they are small. What else? Ooh, these are some, these are uh, one of my favorites, more chipboard. Love me some chipboard. 
Um, you could use these on Project Life, but these are perfect for layouts also. From Pinkfresh Studio, chipboard heart stickers from the Indigo Hills collection. And I love them. They're fantastic. I mean, look at these. Look at these. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, I really love these. I mean, look, it's so cute. It's my favorite. <laughs> um, what else? We have these ginormous numbers from Dear Lizzie. And you get all the numbers. Okay, ampersand and, and um, exclamation mark. That's how it's called? I think so. Um, and yeah, I think I, I don't tend to use such huge numbers on my layouts, but I think this could be a fun, um, use it as a mask. So I would kind of position them, spread them out on my uh, cardstock or background and then uh, mist on them. And then you get this really cool effect. I think I'll do that. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Um, we get from the uh, Simple Stories, Carpe Diem, Posh, bits and pieces. There are 85 pieces here. That's ridiculous. And I'll show you what's in it. Look at all these. So last month, um, there are some great pieces here. Some gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Let me show you my favorites. You have little feathers and there's feathers and there's something I think like a floral but it's aqua and pretty there's a cupcake and a donut they're really really pretty colors so last month okay <laughs> I'll try to finish <laughs> a thought a sentence uh, from the simple stories posh collection um, these are 60 enamel dots and the colors are lovely and they work really well with the kit of course so last month, what I'm trying to say is I made, I think, four layouts or five layouts or six layouts, something like that. And then I had a ton of stuff left and I divided it to mini kits and kind of worked my way through them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do this month. I always feel like I need something to kind of break down um, the goodies because there's a lot to work with. And especially at the beginning, it's kind of hard when you're making one layout um, so I don't know, I don't know. I'll have to um, think about it if I want some sort of system or if I'm just going to wing it um, this month. So that is it. Thank you for watching. I am going to post this now so you can <laughs> actually watch it on YouTube and make myself a cup of coffee. Too many words. Thank you for watching, bye.